This is a short video to show you how to sync Logbook of the World and Club Log. It's possible to sync it where it goes both directions, but it's a multiple step operation. We'll try and demonstrate how to do that so that you can make sure you have both Club Log and Logbook of the World with all of your contacts. Before we actually get into how to sync Logbook of the World and Club Log, there's two things I would encourage you to do so you'll be able to see the impact that this has. First, open your browser and then go to Logbook of the World. And once you get there, log in. Once you're logged in, go to Awards. And then to over on uh, the left-hand side, your DXCC Awards and get your account, which would be your call sign. And when you get to this chart right here, I encourage you to use the snippet tool that comes with Windows. And in that, you will want to make a copy of this chart right here. And then you can save that. Once you've saved it, that will tell you what to, you'll be able to see how much you pick up by the synchronization. Once you've done that, you can log out of Logbook of the World and then log into Club Log. And if you haven't uh, signed in, you have to sign in and go over on the left to DXCC Charts, hit that, then under this Personal Data, you want Confirmed. Once you've selected that in your call sign, then hit Submit. And once you've hit Submit, use the Snippet tool again and take this right here and save it and that's going to show you the way how much it changes once you have done the synchronization now that we've done that we want to go back to the home setting and we're going to look down the left side i'm going to go way down the left side almost to the bottom to low sync you'll hit that and the first thing you have to do is load your logbook of the world certificate that's done right here under number one. And when you do that, it will go out and find your certificate. Now, if you haven't put your certificate on the computer you're using, I would encourage you to put it on the desktop and it will find it. But if not, you can download it as a file and then choose it. And it will be a P12 or a TBK file, one of those two. And it'll probably be your call. Once you've done that, you're able to now download your QSLs from Logbook of the World. And you have to do this before you go the other way. So you would hit this number two, and you have to enter in now your login password for Logbook of the World. Your username will be your call and then your password. Once you've loaded that in, you'll come down and check right here and then you'll hit sync and you'll get a message that'll say it will notify you to tell you the truth i've not ever got that message but it does it and you'll be able to come back and check because if you come back to this page i would say give it a couple hours you'll see it will have the date of what you just did once you've done that and you see that it is synced that way you'll go up here to number three sign qso's and this is the one that's a little bit uh, not as clear. This is how you're going to actually send them from Club Log to Logbook of the World. And you'll have to do your call sign and you'll have an encryption key. And there's a, a very good instructions on how to get that. But you'll put your key in. Yes, I trust the computer. And then you're going to choose and put all new, not uploaded. And once you do that, you'll have to enter in your CQ zone, your ITU zone, your grid square your state, your county, and then you just hit sign. And all of a sudden you see, you'll get a notice that they have been queued to go up. Now it's going to take it a while, but I would say after a day, you should be able then now to go back and look at the two charts, the one in Logbook of the World and the one on Club Log, and you'll be able to find out how many more you have confirmed now that you have that. That's a simple way to do this, and it's real worth the time to do, and I try to do it about once a month. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.